Okay, let's check out the melodic probability, which is a great sequencer uh, from the probability pack by Sonic Faction. This is free. You can download this if you have Ableton Suite. Let's uh, load this right here. Uh, it is a MIDI sequencer, so you need an instrument to make the sound. I'm using Yuhi Diva, which is some preset here uh, for like a plucky arpeggiated sound. Okay, so the melodic probability works by just clicking the spacebar, by just starting your project. It's already running. Here we have the speed of the clock. Let's change it to like 60 notes, so it's a bit faster. And let's choose a key right here. We'll go with maybe G. Uh, here we saw the scale. Let's do minor, G minor. And let's add one note here. Each column has all the notes of the selected scale. Nice, does it sound like that? Okay, nice. Now I can add or delete notes by just clicking on them. And then for each note, we have the probability of it actually triggering. So now it's triggering sometimes and sometimes not. And also the pitch, if it's going to be something different than the selected pitch. Let's put event all the way so we can hear the pitch. So now it's randomizing. 70% is going to randomize. Nice. Now if I select on a note, it's going to delete it. But if I already had a note there, you can hold command or control and select it without deleting, so you can change the probability settings. Nice, here I can clear the pattern. Let's clear it, reset everything, and go back. I can double the pattern, so now I have two pages, and I can also click follow, so it's automatically moving between them. As you can see, you have up to eight pages, so you can make long sequences. Let's clear this. Nice, let's go back. Okay, next tab we have, we have an octave, and we can change the octave of, this, uh, of the play note. And just like the other tab here, we also can change the chance of what it's going to be the selected octave or a different octave. Let's go here. Let's select this with command or control. And now we have kind of an instant variation just because of the probability. So the notes, let's add a few more. And the octaves. We also here have velocity tab for each step. Uh, the instrument itself will have to have the velocity affecting something. In this case, we do. So let's play around with that. And also here, we can add for each step, what's the probability of the selected velocity to happen or randomization of a different velocity. And we can also see it as I add more randomization. When they do randomize, they highlight the column in that height of the selected randomization. Next, we also have the length of each note. Let's make some shorter. So here we can do probability for the length. Nice. We can add swing to our sequence. And next we'll also see how it's controllable from the push. We can access everything we just talked about from the push. It makes it a really great uh, on the fly performance utility or composition uh, for uh, many different styles. Let's check this out. Okay, so here I have an uh, initialized uh, patch of the melodic probability. And down here, we can look for the controllers. Let's search for them. Let's select push two, turn it on. And now push is focused on it. Let's say uh, hit the play on the push. Nice, we can see it running. We can start adding notes. Here I can reset it with the accent. And I can also double the page or double it right here. Let's clear it out. Let's go again. Nice, each note I can already change all the different probabilities from right here. So I change the pitch, the event, the octave, velocity, and length. Let's do it for also these ones. Nice, and as you can see, I'm holding the notes in order to change them, because if I hit them once, it's gonna delete them. Excellent, I can change the speed of the clock from here, or also from right here, the note divisions. Can add some swing from here and I can also go in the melodic probability and go and select the scale 
although I can also hit scale and then I can select the root note and the type of scale. Let's go back to minor. Nice. Right here we can go from the note sequencer to the octave selector. Let's select some different octaves and let's add a few more notes. Nice. This third one is the velocity and we got the length. So as you can see, you can control everything uh, from the push to and the melodic probability makes it super fun for this type of sequences that are ever evolving. Let's go back, let's go to our second track here. I'm gonna go to the session, I have some drum loops, let's launch the loop. Let's turn it up. Let's go back. So that's the melodic probability, really fun stuff. As you can see, fully integrated with the push to check it out from the probability pack by Sonic Faction. Catch you next time. <laughs>